Hey, Dave We Like here with the iRobot Roomba S9 edition. You might be wondering why did Dave now buy a vacuum cleaner for $1,200? I seriously have no idea. But what I can tell you is that I'm tired of vacuuming my floors, right? I think you all are too. I vacuum maybe two to three times a week and they're still dirty at the end of the day, right? Because filth is all around us. So after like a while of thinking about it, I just decided, you know what? Robot vacuum cleaners, those are a thing. They've been around for a while. They must be good by now, right? I have no idea. So this is going to be what's on the inside of the box. There's still gonna be some maintenance, just saying you have to clean out the rollers and the spinning things and doodads and all that sort of stuff. So it's not like you can really just set this robot and forget about it entirely. And of course, you might still step on it. Hopefully that won't be the case, but I'll try and set uh, this to clean when I'm gone. That way I don't have to hear it vacuuming, right? Nobody likes the vacuum noise. Why is it so loud? Why, people? This particular vacuum is said to be 40% more suction than I think it was the 600 series from iRobot. So that sounds cool. More sucking the better. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, take off the tape and begin this. That's fine, there you go, okay. Da, da, da. Oh, hello. It's just saying hello. What's up with this? Um, what, what does that do? I don't know. I'm a little worried already. There are so many pieces to this. Okay. So I guess this is... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. There's, there's plastic underneath this. Why? It's like a veggie platter. Okay. Well, we don't need that. So, we've got the actual iRobot machine right there. This looks to be the charger which is pretty cool. It's supposed to automatically come on to the charger, right? I mean, every robot vacuum cleaner kind of does that. But I was thinking, because this is a slim uh, charger, I should be able to, hopefully, put this like under the couch, maybe? And maybe the robot will like be able to fit under the couch, and that way this doesn't really take up much space. I don't want this thing to be lying out and about, you know, for people to see. It's an eyesore. I mean, although it is kind of sexy with its colors by all means. But seriously, I, I, it's like a vacuum cleaner. You always want to put your vacuum cleaners away. So there's paperwork. Probably should read that. I, I honestly have no idea what to, oh. And of course, our cords. Well, that's exciting. Another box within a box, within another box. Yes, so we've got our cord for the power as well as uh, this thing that brushes it in to the suction area. And then there's a filter as well, so you don't breathe out. The, the dust and all that sort of stuff. So, I don't know, I think that's it. Um, let's go ahead and start assembly, yeah? So first off, we've got our getting started guide in which you can see a couple different languages here. Most importantly for us is uh, English. It's actually, it actually comes pre-assembled. Uh, these are just extra little filters and brushes that we don't need right now, uh, cause ours are clean. So then it also comes with an owner's guide and manual too, as well as the warranty information but so we're going to put those to the side and i'm going to just show you right now the the roomba itself and you can see that this is where the bin is for the trash and so in order to empty it we basically just lift this out and just like that it comes on out so we're going to push down this button over here and this at the bottom pops on out that's where your garbage is going to be and you just you know empty it pull it there we go, and then you rip it out. But filter's clean, so I'm gonna keep it on in there. Let's put this guy back. Everything looks great. And then you just push it down. So then on the reverse side, you can see that this is where all the gears are. So we've got our wheels that actually are kind of fun to go like this. You gotta push them. Push them faster, Dave! Ah! All right, play too many video games. Now this is our swivel wheel, as well as you can see our brushes. So in order to clean these, uh, I think it's somewhere over here. You kind of push this guy. This thing flips on out. You take it out, wash it off, whatever. Actually, really easy to go ahead and clean on up. Let's hopefully get that back in there. Get that. Come on. Come on. Work it. There we go. Okay. Thank God. Now we've got to go ahead and actually uh, plug this guy, the base charging station, in place. And that should be kind of it. So I've gone ahead and plugged in my charging station right under my couch. Hopefully, it will work here. I know there's a sensor, so hopefully... It, it doesn't interfere. And that also being said, I'm gonna try and put my Roomba on the stand. 
kind of like so. However, it needs to go. Mm. Is it on? Oh, excuse me. Okay. Well, you can figure it out, Roomba, right? Perfect. Thank you. Where are you going? Still, still, stop, stop backing it up. You're going to hit me. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Okay. There you go. You can figure out where to go, right? Hey, it might actually work. So, yeah, I might be able to hide my Roomba underneath the couch. I kind of moved it a little bit further out than I would like to, but I, I think I can push it back and it'd be fine. That's great. So I can totally hide it. All right. I like that. So the next step, according to this, is download the iRobot Home app. Select your country, United States. Automatic. Sounds good for my app language, except sure. All right. So now it is searching for my robot. So you can see that there are lots of different robots from iRobot, which makes sense. I've got the Roomba S series. Uh, your charging station, your robot, Wi-Fi password. Yep. Turn on Bluetooth. I don't have that turned on. Now you know where I am. Uh, charging station placement. Make sure that it's placed in a correctly placed area. Good Wi-Fi on a hard level surface against the wall with a clear path for Roomba. Sure. Let's call it Roomba. That makes sense. Connect it. Yes. Oh, I don't know what my password is. Press and hold the spot and the home buttons on the robot simultaneously for two seconds and then release. You will hear a sound. Ha-ha! I press the button. Great. Searching for robots. It turned blue. So now what? Searching for Roomba. All right! I think it might have found. now connected. Please return to the app to complete setup. Oh, I'm ready. Roomba discovered a whole new world. Starting network, enabling, blah, 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 blah. A lot of information happened. All right, so it's connecting to the Wi-Fi right now. Cool. Random Your robot sounds. is fully set up and ready to go. Press clean to get to work. Sick! Let's do it, guys! This could take a minute. Establishing a cloud connection. No! I thought you were ready to go. All right, it's fine. There is an update. Of course there's an update. Ah, the robot is updating. Thank you for giving me a present. Fit it in there, robot. Come on, squeeze it. Oh, well, you know what? Oh, oh. As we wait for the Roomba to update, we might as well look at the various app features. So you can see this is uh, the gigantic clean button. Anytime you want it to clean, I, I'd assume you just click on that and it'll go ahead and clean. That being said, you could schedule a vacuum and right now it's set at 9 a.m monday wednesday friday uh i don't know let's just do every day why not and uh instead of 9 a.m we can change it to 8 a.m all right and you can also change you know the settings whether or not it's a detailed clean which says just right for thorough everyday cleaning then there's the quiet clean low power for quieter operation you can also customize it for the cleaning power that you'd like either louder and more performance or just, you know, quieter and less uh, suction, which is interesting. So the amount of cleaning passes, uh, you can also set this to being automatic or one pass or two passes. So the Roomba covers the entire space twice. Then there's also the history tab, which you can see the total area cleaned in your house over the last 30 days or so. And then of course the lifetime of it. Then there's also the smart maps, which is kind of cool because it will create a map of your house and you could tell the Roomba not to go in a particular room if you don't want it to. So pretty neat to go ahead and create that. So it looks like the Roomba is done updating. So let's go ahead and click on clean and we're going to just click on clean all and next through all this. Whoa. Hey, hey Roomba, how you doing? What's up? Go Roomba, go! Get it girl, get it, yes! Yes! The jetpack is engaged. Oh God, no! Hey, that's really nice. It didn't knock that on over, but it, it touched it. Okay, where are you going next? Oh, this is so much fun. Oh uh, yeah, the purple cushion. Can't go there. Oh, going under the couch. What you gonna find? Some dust? 
Ah, oh, Roomba. Aren't you the best? Oh God, it's going over a cord. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, now you're messed up. See, you gotta make sure that the floor is clean, generally speaking. All right, what's it, what's it gonna, how's it gonna get rid of this cord? It, it's not, it's not, it's gonna eat it. Don't eat the iPhone cord, please, huh? Please, come on, eject it a little bit. Just spit it out of your mouth. Nah, I can't do anything. This is what I was kind of afraid of. It's like, obviously when you're, oh, yeah, it gave up. It's like, yo, yep, it's red. Uh-oh, rejected already. That was fast. You want to make sure that your floors are generally a lot cleaner than mine. You can't have debris like this on there, but ejecting it should be generally easy. Let's go ahead and click on over here. And there you go. That was simple, right? So you put them back in place. And the other one as well. And put it down. There you go. Pick up the cord, step number two and place it in a place that the cord is not there. Click on clean, and uh, you're moving on. Thank you, Roomba. Very nicely done, though, of maneuvering around this chair. Color me impressed. What I'd like to do is uh, throw some clothes at the Roomba, see what happens. Die, Roomba! Ah! It's like, whoa, whoa, stinky, Dave, stinky. Here you go, Roomba, go straight. And it's pushing. And then it realized, eh, maybe I could, eh, eh. Cool, so it's not sucking up my socks, which is pretty nice. It looks like it's just kind of cords that you have to be careful for. Now I can leave my clothes on the floor. Oh, there it goes, it sucked one up. Okay. Well, it doesn't like shirts, apparently. Just back up, Roomba. Back up. Does not compute. Does not compute. When's it gonna give me the red light? I'd assume it will, right? It's not just gonna vacuum up the whole floor with my shirt. It was kind of a clean shirt. It wasn't that dirty. Now it's really dirty. Thanks, Roomba. So, so helpful. Yeah, there it is. All right, give me the red ring of death. I'm used to that on the Xbox 360. Now, I can, of course, control the power and switch it on up. More power. Versus less. There you go, Roomba. I know, it's a tricky chair. You can get out of there, though. I believe in you. It's really hard. Come on, Roomba. You, oh, so close, Roomba. There you go, okay, well, it's a very clean spot over here, which is nice. It does a very thorough job. Come on, Roomba. Turn around, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yes! Oh, oh, nope. Oh, you're tricking yourself, Roomba. Why are you going in that direction? You were just there. Come on, Roomba, come on, come on. Dude, do it, do it. Yes! Freedom! Oh, come on, Roomba, there you go, you're out. Uh-oh, Roomba's off-roading again. How did you do that, Roomba? Can you figure it out? Ah, good. So Roomba apparently just wanted to mess up my uh, bathroom. Thanks for making it a mess, Roomba. You're so kind. I mean, you could have put it back, right? So the Roomba is still cleaning in the background and you can see that it's building the map in progress and it's like, uh, I, I kind of figured out this much. Also, there's history and you can see the reports of when it got stuck. Uh, when you canceled it and all that sort of stuff. There you go. Oh, oh, it's making sweet love to that carpet right now. Are you stuck? Okay, well, this looks like an area that I should avoid. To be fair, even my regular vacuum cleaner gets messed up on this particular carpet. It just will, you know, pick up the carpet as you're vacuuming it. Docking, docking. You know, I don't know why, but I think it's about to Duck! 
What? What are you doing? You were Doc, bro. I just got a notification that the smart map is complete. Let me look. And so I've got five rooms, apparently. You can see that there are lots of room dividers. Let's go ahead and select one of these rooms and come up with the room labels. We're gonna go ahead and say that this is going to be the bathroom. And this one, I'm gonna call this one the bedroom. And basically I don't want it to go into the bathroom or the bedroom just due to those carpets that I had over there, those rugs. So let's go ahead and I'm pretty much done. Now I'm gonna set up my keep out zone. So I'm gonna add keep out zone, which is basically just all, all of this. Just keep, well, you know what? I guess I'll set up one at a time here. So we're gonna save that. All right, get ready to watch some dust fall on out. There it is, folks. It works. Plenty of debris. Wow, in the little time that it was vacuuming, there is a lot that it picked on up. I tell you, there is so much filth in this house, and I don't understand why. I don't have any animals, although I am a hairy wildebeest. Now getting it out of here is just as simple as pulling it out. And there you go. A couple hours have passed and the iRobot Roomba S9 has completed both its mapping and cleaning process. Okay, quick recap. So the Roomba did go ahead and do the mapping process in which the battery was so low that it did need to take some time to charge up the battery. Uh, and I guess it got around 20% of the entire room mapped on out uh, in about, I, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And then from there, it went ahead, charged it on up, which took an hour and 25 minutes or so. And then it finally continued mapping, which took about another hour. So for some reason, it took a little while to map this all out, but in the process of mapping my room on out, I learned about the Roomba itself and what you should and shouldn't do, uh, like pick up your clothes and remove your cords, as well as really, uh, you gotta avoid those sort of shag carpets. Ultimately, the Roomba was able to find the charging station underneath the couch, right? So that was key for me because I wanted to hide it. The Roomba took just over an hour to go ahead and actually vacuum up the entire room, which obviously is a lot longer than what it would take me, maybe 15 minutes or so, just to do a quick pass through. But it's just nice to know that the room is bouncing around and it clearly is sucking up uh, multiple times, which is kind of cool to know that I can leave my apartment and come back and it is clean. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Once again, I'm Dave Wulak, smack that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.